Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen and today we are going to look at the different views in Blender like front view, side view, top view and much much more. Let's get started. First we're going to delete the default cube. So press the default cube clicking X and then delete. Now we are going to create a monkey head. So clicking shift A, go down to mesh and down to monkey. This monkey head has a name, it's Suzanne, and it's called the Suzanne head. With the move tool selected, we are going to move it up a little bit like this. Let's smoothen it out a bit by putting a modifier on it, a subdivision surface modifier. So go to here and then add modifier. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier. For the levels viewport, let's crank that up to two. Let's smoothen it all the way by right clicking and then clicking shade smooth. Perfect. Now this monkey is going to be our object that we're going to look at in all of the views, like front view, side view, top view, all the views. Front view is number one or numpad one. Now you need a numpad to do this, but what if you don't have a numpad? Can you still do it without a numpad? Of course you can. Instead of using the numpad, we are going to use these keys right here. And to do that, you will have to go to edit, preferences, under input, under keyboard, there's this check mark that says emulate numpad. So now when you click your views, you don't use the numpad, but you use the keys right above the letters. There's one more thing that you must do is to save your preferences. So go down here at the bottom left corner and then save preferences, or you can do auto save preferences, which is what I do. Now click close. We have this monkey head and we're, we are going to look at all sides of this monkey head. So front view is one, numpad one. Side view is three, numpad three. Top view is seven, numpad seven. Now, what if I want to look at the back of my monkey? What if I want to look at the back of something? Instead of one for front view, you would click control one and what if you don't want to look at the your right side for example three you can do control three to look at the other side instead of seven for the top you can look at the bottom by pressing control seven perfect now let's go back to front view now clicking numpad two we can go up and down the monkey. Now this doesn't move the monkey at all. It's just that our view is moving. Let's go back to numpad one and click numpad four this time. Keep on clicking. Now this goes sideways. And once again, the monkey is not moving at all. It's just our view that is moving. And here's another view that I don't use at all, but I will show you. So clicking numpad five, it goes into orthographic view. Now let's click back to perspective view. Also another view that is important is zero, which is the camera view, very important. I'm gonna show you an example of why these views are important. Now there are tons of things you can do by using these views, um, there's like a million bajillion things, okay? But I'm gonna show you one way that it's really useful. So first we're going to delete this monkey head by selecting it first and then clicking X and then delete. And we are going to create a sphere. So clicking Shift A, we are going to create a UV sphere. 
and we are going to jump into edit mode. Right now we have this sphere and let's say I want to select the top half. How do I do that? Let's go to face select by clicking here. And let's just click on some faces at the top here, you know, doing shift and then right click. One way you can do this is by selecting individual faces like this and pressing shift and then select and keep on pressing shift and select, select, select. But that would take a long time and very tiresome. There actually is an easier way. We're going to use wireframe and we're going to use our views and we are going to first go to wireframe so you can click here or you can click Z and then going to wireframe like this and then we go to one of our views so I'm just going to go to side view which is three and I'm gonna select I'm gonna box select all of this okay and then we have the top selected we're going to delete that so pressing x and then pressing faces because we want to delete all the faces and voila so going back to solid view i'm going to do this this time yeah we have the top removed and we're just left with the bottom and that is it. I hope these Blender views can help you make Blender creations faster and more efficiently. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't checked my last video, it's a light bulb modeling tutorial and it's beginner friendly. I'll leave the link in the card above and also in the description box down below. I also made another video modeling a banker's lamp. And if you don't know what a banker's lamp looks like, this is some pictures of it that I made. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link in the card above me and also in the description box down below. If you like cute 3D art and cute blender renders, follow me on Instagram at HelenMelon3DArt. There I post a lot of this, this, and this and this and this so check it out on instagram it's helen melon 3d art if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and if it's a blender concern i will try my best to answer them but if i can't i will make a separate video addressing all those questions so don't worry thank you so much for watching have a nice day and i'll see you later Bye.